Well, it's quarter to eight on day 50, Wednesday, 28th of June, and I've just left the harbour at Loch Inver. It's a grey morning with a bit of wind, but it's not too bad so far, so hopefully the winds will stay reasonable today. It's good to get moving again after five or six days in Loch Inver. Ted's up and about and happy to be on the move again. So I'm heading down for Gairlock if the uh, if everything goes okay. So uh, yes, yeah, as I say, looking forward to getting back out there. It's about 20 past 11 on day 50 and um, I'm making uh, slow progress to a headland of Rubber Reed and then the other side of that is Loch Gairlock and uh, say the wind is right on my nose so the engine's doing most of the work I've got the sail up but I've got there's a force four wind against me and the seas are quite rough so it's fairly bouncy and I'm just passing Grignard Island of Anthrax fame I don't know if you can see it over there, but it's rather hazy. And that's looking back to the Summer Isles, so called. It's there, gorgeous in summer, as you can see. So I've got another few hours to go yet. So, but it's uh, it's not too bad. The uh, the wind could be worse and the sun is trying to break through. Well it's about quarter to two on day 50 and I'm just rounding the headland of Rubber Reed and uh, there's there which is Loch Hugh oh, I went into last year the uh, sun has come out now, there's blue skies and I've got uh, full mainsail in, although I'm still battling into the wind and the waves are quite big so they're, they're knocking me back quite a bit so progress has been slow and I came through a really fierce squall and, and thunder shower and uh, winds were up to about 25 knots for a little while and it was absolutely pelting rain but thankfully that passed quite quickly and uh, as I say the sun has come out so I'm probably a couple of hours away from the airlock now. Well it's about 20 to 5 on day 50 and I've made it into Gairlock and I'm just heading to a, a, an anchorage in a place called Badacro. It's been a bit of a tough one again today. It's been battling into the wind and quite big waves, but it's been quite enjoyable. I've uh, managed to do a bit of sailing with the engine off for the last hour and a half, but um, I've still got the Genoa up at the moment because the wind is now sort of... Uh, on my starboard quarter and it's very light so the main sail was just flapping around so I took that down. So again Gairlock is a very uh, picturesque setting, there's lots of mountains as a backdrop and uh, there's a little island, the island of Longa at the entrance which that is, and that's looking back out to sea. And over there is the Isle of Skye. So I, uh, after the initial fierce squall, I had another squall that I came through, but that wasn't quite as bad. I, it, I was just right on the edge of it. So I didn't get wet. 
it's about 10 to 6 on day 50 and I've just uh, picked up a mooring buoy in Badacro, which is a sort of little harbour off of Loch Gairlock. So it's very sheltered. There's the entrance there and that's out into Loch Gairlock and then if you turn left you're at the sea. And there's some nice wooded hills behind me. And there's quite a few boats in, there's a few on um, visitor moorings like me, but I think most of them are boats that are moored here permanently. And there's the little village over there. Of islands that break up the harbour. Yes, yeah, so I arrived um, about just over half an hour ago, so I've got the boat fully settled and all ready, and so I'm looking forward to a relaxing evening on board.